In this episode, I'll talk about the um, cutting of the hair, and I'll also talk about the patching, a little bit of patching method, and a little bit of a outlined uh, remake, all right? Because uh, once we get to the hair, first I want to explain why do we need to learn how to patch? Why do we need, like, isn't this supposed to be having a mouse without a drawing pen? I can finish this product. Um, yes and no, because, well, you still need a little bit of drawing, as I mentioned, and this is where it comes into place. It's going to be easy, um, and it's going, like, everyone should be able to manage it. So, what do you do? Why do we need, why do we even need to draw anything when there's a complete image in front of us? Well, here's the thing. If you take, a, take the hair, for example, for, say, like, now we are trying to prepare the hair piece, the hair material. We need to cut up the hairs, all right? How many parts do we have? Well, I want the side bangs and the front bangs to work individually to look lively, all right? So there you go. I have one on the left side, one on the right side, and then the center part. And there's also a hair back right there, and also the uh, the ponytail and ribbon includes. Um, so let's say, let's hide them different colors, all right? So why, what's the problem with this? Why do we need to patch more stuff? Well, if you have a look, this is a color and, be, and the blue part is where you got the side bangs and the red part is the middle bang. Why is it trouble? Why is there always a problem here? It's because when the character, let me get a pen tool and get a layer. When the character um, turns her head to this side, what happens? Well, you have the side bangs sort of shifting towards this side, right? And everything also follows along. The problem is that this area, there might be a, a empty void area that wasn't covered previously. If you're looking at her in uh, face facing forward, you don't see those area, but what if she turns to this side? Then you can start to imagine, you can start to imagine there might be a bald spot right here, or it might be white or no, like, or, or uh, the, the face or anything behind it might show up, which in realistically, this side bang is really covering part of the front bang. So there are still front bangs, there's still hair behind this piece. So this is a, if we, if I do this, if I turn on hard lights and turn on back there, back here. If I turn on hard light, you will now see a sharp pink area. And what you're seeing is a patch area I created for the front bang. This is a full of the front bang. So you can see this extra piece. Supposedly it was covered by the left hair, but then I added it in, I added an extra part just for it to uh, create uh, more coverage when it turns her head, when there's wind blowing through her hair, she wouldn't look like there's part of her hair bald in between the side bangs and the um, middle bangs, all right? So that's how much I've added. And also the other side, I can have a look. Uh, let me see, over heart light. Mm, no, not that part. Um, hard light and like you can see the other side most layer most upper part of layer is actually overlapped I have way more um, front bang covering the this side and to make sure the shape is protected that there's no bleeding through I can ultimately really draw more to it and make sure it's realistic almost like a 3d uh, tangible um, physical or physics, what do you call that? Physicality, and to make sure it's real as possible. But since that, I would like if her head is only turning 90 degrees left and right, up and down, um, those parts won't be seen, so I won't bother with it. All right, but give you an idea is that you need to draw extra part in order in order to to uh, complete the model, and depending on what uh, character you're dealing with, uh, from case two case it might be different all right so one case this might be what is needed for me and if your character have let's say maybe your character have her or his uh, front bang 
covering the side bangs like that All right so this is the front bangs and actually overlap it's in front of the side bangs well or maybe twin cell whatever um, now it's in reverse the back part you would need the side bangs you would need to also have extra parts beneath this area in order to complete it in order to protect it from bleeding and that is the, the the theory that you need to learn before you start cutting out the hair. Let's take a look at the back hair. To be surprising, most of the back hair is actually created. You see right here? This whole part, almost... Uh, let me see if I have a good... Okay, so I've turned up my pen, and you can see, I would say this whole part, the whole orange part, is patched by me. It wasn't orig originally there. Even the lower end of it, I have the foot of the hairline, and I sort of created this shape to make it realistic in case it does show up. And exactly what the shape is, it's really up to you. And you have to imagine what it's like uh, for the character. So let's turn this off. And you can also see if I zoom in that I created some part of the outline. To create an outline, it's pretty difficult. I mean, it's very thin and your hands are shaky with the mouse. What's the method that would be helpful to create the outline? Well, you can first Control shift n and create a new layer on top of the one that you need to draw on. And next, select the right color for the outline. You can steal it from the original outline. I just go down alternate to make it into a droplet tool. And I click left click on this area and pick the brown that I need for the outline. Turn down my pen and I can start drawing on it. Just little bit by little bit like that. And you see it doesn't bleed out of the boundary because it is now clipped, a mask clipped on the original um, hair back so that it wouldn't bleed out of it. I can erase part of it to make it look smoother, to make it look thinner. And that is how you create the, uh, the outline. Okay, so that is the outline creation. Now, what about the patching part? What I what do I mean that I need to patch stuff? Well, take a look at over here. And let me turn off the ears so you can see here. If I were to take the original hair back, I would be missing this part of the shadow. If I just take one color and fill it up, this part is, you see the shadows cut off like that. And obviously, if she turns her head to the left side, this part would show out. And you, you would see weirdly, why is there a highlight where there's light source in this area and cutting out the shadow? Well, that's wrong, and that's why you need to patch a shadow part yourself. With the same method, you can create a mask, create a new layer, just something on top of it, doesn't matter. And um, select, to steal the color from uh, the near, nearby area, and then just patch over it, just paint over it, and that's it. And for one more reason, if we turn back on our hair, make sure it's normal. Oh, I should go to I should go to this part. All right, so let's say if I took uh, let me highlight this. Let's say give me a red and give me a smaller color. Why is it? Wait, what, why was, what, oh, never mind. Okay, there you go. This part, all right? This part here, The this might be my side bangs or front bangs, depending on what you're working with, this part, all right? Now, the problem is that you see here, the eyebrow intersects and pierce right through the hair. Now, when it's facing forward and it's still, then it would look normal. But once you start moving her hair around, when she start breathing and 
you would find there are like these lines are flying over the place they're multiplying themselves and they shouldn't be here if you include the eyebrow parts of the eyebrow into part of your hair obviously there's going to be a problem so how do you do that well now you need patching again steel color and paint over it or if you want more advanced method you can use the stamp tool press alternate um, hold down alt and click here and then patch over here so that you keep some of the grainy parts of the coloring and make it look nice so that is how you clear out the excessive amount of um, pieces that you don't need and that is about patching what are major parts that you need to patch? well obviously the eyebrow and the uh, spotlight here doesn't need this piece of hair strand and that needs to go as well so these are the patching things that patching work that you need to do it might be the hidden shadow it might be extra outlines it might be uh, missing parts like the ribbon right here you don't see this part of ribbon and you need to edit it yourself if you check out my original uh, sample file if I turn on turn off my hair back and you can see there you go you can see this blue piece here extended and it is done by my mouse and a paintbrush, and that's it.